So I thought I'd just give an update on the plasma cam table. I uh, finally got it all put together. I got my uh, little wheel caster legs uh, added onto it. And then I got the controller on. Got the uh, boom all set up and I put the uh, hand torch on there for the time being. I don't think I'm going to get a machine torch uh, right away. But uh, believe it or not, the only machine I had that would be able to run this is a laptop that's about 14 years old. It's a 1.2 gigahertz Pentium 3 IBM laptop with a parallel port. And while running Windows 2000 and only being a 1.2 gigahertz machine, uh, it runs this table just fine. I can do the full thousand inches a minute and uh, it seems to uh, control everything just fine. I'll uh, give you a quick demo of the machine running uh, without the actual plasma uh, on, just a dry run. This is uh, 200 inches a minute with, uh, it, I've got it set up so it's a 0.05 uh, G acceleration in the corners and uh, it's, I think I did 0.1 G uh, straight on and then I told it to slow down for circles smaller than one inch. But uh, 210 inches a minute is the rated cut speed for this plasma cutter up to 10 gauge steel. So anything below 10 gauge, uh, it's good for uh, 210 and above. And that was one of the reasons why I bought a plasma cam, is that uh, with the servo drives, this thing can cut up to a thousand inches a minute. Uh, and a lot of the stepper drive machines, they'll cap out at you know, 100, 200, 400 inches a minute. So, uh, which, there's a lot of rapids in between as well, but the you know the key to getting a good cut quality uh, is you have to run the right speed. If you're running too slow, you can get dross. If you're running too fast, you can get dross. So the idea is you run the manufacturer's parameters, uh, cut height, cut speed, amperage, and you should get appropriate uh, quality cuts. So I'm going to show you a close-up of my... Uh, legs that I made for this. So what I got here, just some hardware store parts. This is a uh, quarter inch steel. Uh, this is quarter by four plate. This is a Harbor Freight eight inch caster. And this is just a 499 hinge. And this is just a door hinge. Uh, with this you know, piece of plywood here uh, The bolts are here keep the leg from kicking out and you can see I get about an inch uh, of clearance underneath the machine so both of these fold up and then Climbing under cords here, so this is what I did for the back um, I've got a hook right here. I'll lower this down and I'll show you. So, all I do is lift up the corner of the table, drop that, and this sits on the ground. This one's a little tight, but um, once I I can like loosen this up or throw some oil on there and I'd like to put a spring on this so that it's always engaged like this so that whenever I pick this up it automatically engages. And so this hook right here that uh, that engages or you know, hooks into the end of the steel to keep it latched. 
I know that uh, a lot of you probably have seen Keith Fenner's uh, videos about plasma cam, but uh, just to kind of give you an up close of what these machines look like, um, this is it's gear driven both uh, for the gantry and the carriage. So there's a gear or a belt reduction here, servo motor, uh, rack, pinions under here. And then there's a bearing, a cam roller bearing here, cam roller bearing there, springs, and those keep it, you know, uh, touching the gantry in the appropriate places. This side right here, there's a rack upside down. This pushes on the rack and it holds it up against a piece of sheet metal that runs down inside the rack. Then you got your uh, gantry limit switch and then carriage limit switch right here. And there's a long shaft that runs through the middle of the gantry. There's a pinion on each side. And when this spins right here, it drives one end of the shaft, which then comes over to here and drives the other pinion. Now, the way this gantry is set up, it actually floats. So this is the fixed side. There is a cam roller bearing on the bottom right here. And there's a spring tensioner right here. And there's a spring tensioner right there. And what this spring tensioner does is it pulls the gantry up against this side of the machine. And this spring carriage right here, what it does is it raises the gantry and locks it into the rack that's underneath here. There's another uh, cam roller right here, which rides uh, in here. And that cam roller basically between the two cam rollers or between the rack here and this cam roller, it keeps the gantry from twisting. You come over here and there's another cam roller uh, right here with a spring and there's the pinion underneath here. This cam roller right here, uh, that cam roller, it pushes up and it actually forces the gantry into the uh, pinion or the rack up here. So 